Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene are battling it out. Green blasts Boebert. Other McCarthy opponents over speaker votes. This is nothing but drama. And as you know, Kevin McCarthy won, but he didn't really win the traditional Speaker of the House. The de facto Speaker is Matt Gates and Andy Biggs and Byron Donalds and Lauren Boebert and others who opposed. So he gave up almost all of the traditional powers and authority vested within the Speaker of the House. He can be deposed, McCarthy, with just five Republicans. So I talked about that on H.A. Goodman. Go there right now. I had an 8 a.m. segment. This is the 9 a.m. Pacific segment on H.A. Goodman's other channel. Hit subscribe right now. I'm going to do quick segments on this channel, and the longer form is on H.A. Goodman of almost 203,000 subscribers. Hit subscribe here. We're growing. So that's one article. Marjorie Taylor Greene takes aim at Boebert for speaker vote drama. Fox News, simply personal. Marjorie Taylor Greene dispels hope. Okay, so it's interesting, ladies and gentlemen, and I I, I don't really, I, I, I think that they've had a rift, but you know what? Here's the issue. They're against never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts. See, he, here's the thing that, if you're a morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat and you're watching this and you're saying, ha ha, I don't like either of them, oh my God, AOC and uh, Pelosi are so much more uh, moral and wonderful and just and beautiful, understand something. AOC and Pelosi will have, would have no, well, they have had no problem with funding never-ending wars and military conflict. No problem at all. And you see what's, what's taking place in Europe. It's a proxy battle. They have no problem. And instead of negotiating for peace, you don't see that from AO. Like the far left, you don't see any attempt at... They couldn't even write a letter. I think AOC wanted to write a letter and give it to Pelosi. And then, of course, they were afraid to do so. To, 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 to talk about perhaps you know negotiating a peace deal. But that's a peace deal is like a, a bad word. It's like a it's like a terrible thing to the Democratic Party. They want that conflict to go on forever. So they can pretend to be the cold warriors. But anyway. It it's actually interesting and good in a way that you have these these personalities going at it. I don't know why Marjorie Taylor Greene just supported Kevin McCarthy. I'll let you decide or, you know, below. I have no clue why. It was very good that Lauren Boebert did. Very good that Matt Gates did. Matt Gates has essentially become de facto Speaker of the House. And I have a segment on that on H.A. Goodman's, H.A. Uh, Goodman, my main channel, at 11 a.m. G- Gates was actually assaulted or almost assaulted by an Alabama Republican and I have a segment at 8 a.m. on on that cha- uh, on on my main channel. But McCarthy gave up pretty much everything. So the Speaker of the House is essentially Trump. Trump Republicans. Trump Republicans run the House of Representatives. They're against never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts, and they want to get back to record low poverty. It's a moral imperative to vote for Trump in 24 and to support people like Matt Gates and Boebert and others who really pushed back against the very corrupt system and got exactly what they wanted. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. I don't really know what to make of the rivalry between those two. You can tell me below what you think. Give me your thoughts.